Jongolski can't get that from Lazon, and we are underway at the Hull Ice Arena. Turcotte turns back. We saw him off the top of his 133 penalty minutes. Jan Turcotte will have to stay out of the, the box tonight. Galbraith for Lazon. Lazon back to the point. Turcotte long seeing eye shot. This skittered through the crease there. And luckily for Chevery, did not find the back of the net. Jameson and Mitchell battle hard along the wall. Telegraph play there. Good move by Turcotte to intercept. Turcotte puts on the brakes. This is good from the Stingrays. Lazon out front. Had Galbraith, the big six foot three Galbraith. And there's a good glove save from Chevery. Lazon with seven goals and 13 assists. When I spoke with him earlier, he said when Pasha was out for 10 games, he's only back in the lineup recently. He said their power play suffered because they manned the points together on the power play. Here's a shot, Mare scores! Boom, boom, Mare, back of the net, one nothing, Stingrays! A uh, great one-time shot from Mare, uh, an excellent pass off the wall from Davies, and Mare just let it go, but poor coverage from Dundee. I mean, there's just no, you, you can't give up that, that middle uh, shot from the slot and, and give a guy time. I mean, the goalie's got no chance on that. The puck just comes out quick for the slot. Quick shot, back of the net. Uh, and, and a guy like Mayer who can, you know, he can score goals. He's proven that already. I think he's got 12 this year already. That's lucky you, number 13 right you know, there. Sometimes in your PK, you've got to key off their key players and, and maybe give up a shot that from a guy who doesn't score a lot of goals. But they gave up the shot to the wrong guy there. To Hutchins. Hutchins back to the point there now. And it's Isaacs. Kicks out. Hutchins was hooked. There's a delayed call coming up. Chevrolet didn't get to the bench on time, but you could see Hutchins threw his arms up straight away. He was definitely hooked. Well, he was hooked as the puck was coming out, and, uh, you know, he, it takes a scoring chance away. So it's the right call there. It's a hook. It's a two-minute penalty. And Hutchins, you know, he went hard for the puck and then created a power play for his team. Now it'll be interesting to see now who, who Dundee put out. I mean, you got Lus Ryan, Blight going out there, three very uh, offensive guys. Big John Mitchell, 6'5", 220 to Quick. Quick back to Mitchell, blocked there. Tanaka takes a swipe at it. Blight, good save there by Brown. Yeah, great save by, by Brown. Good positioning there. He came across, didn't, didn't really give much of the net away and, and, and stopped that puck quite easily. But good puck movement from Dundee. But also a great job from uh, Hall not running around on their PK, just keeping it compact as a pass across there. Mitchell's got a good wrist shot and uh, forced a save there. Along the wall, he's got McCluskey. McCluskey wants it, but they decide to go into Gungalski. Gungalski knocked down, and it's going to be. And as Chevry goes to the bench, they won't get the extra skater out, but it's going to be another call against the Stingrays. Looks like it could be Jameson. It'll be a five on three for 30 seconds. Uh, good opportunity for, um, for Dundee, and straight away puts, puts out his uh, number one power play back out on the ice to try to get to get a goal here they don't have a lot of time on this five on three but they have the face off down and obviously you, have, you know you always get the face off in, in in the offensive end of the ice so they could win the face off to give them enough time to get a good scoring chance 11:42 to go first period action aaron murphy and paul 80 it has been a fast first period thus far i hope you're enjoying this one on premier sports hutchins goes in hard backhand play now Mayer looking for a second. Good active stick by Grimshaw to deflect it up and out of play. Yeah, a good second effort there to, to, to get your stick on the puck and, and get, you know, uh, you know, keep a scoring chance uh, away from your net. And uh, But it's been a great start to the game. Like you said, lots of speed out here. Teams are moving the puck quick and trying to come at one another. They're not sitting back. They're not playing a defensive game. And I think both teams feel that they have enough offense to go out there. You know, they've, you're better off playing in the other team's end than your end. And, and both teams are kind of going for it offensively. D to D with Isaacs. And Davies again just seems to have that knack for the puck. Here's Osman. Osman, giveaway there. McKenzie, Hutchins, Dolan scores! Dolan, you beauty! 1 1. Well, they broke the play up in the, in the, defense, in the offensive zone. And that was a quick shot to the net, and there's the rebound. You know, those rebounds that come out in front of you, always, you know, they tend to hurt you. Although, you know, the goalie didn't really have much, not much he could do on that. He's coming across his crease, and the pucks can automatically come back out, you know, in that position. 
uh, I think a few of the Hall players maybe you know moved out a bit too quick, thinking they were going to get the puck out, and they didn't. And you know, it's it's a game of mistakes, and, and especially in your defensive zone. You know, I know a couple of times before, if you saw Hall, they, they threw a few pucks through the middle. You're a bit lucky that you know Dundee didn't break up the plays, and then eventually you keep making those risky plays, and you get punished for them. And, uh, trying to get under the skin of Lausanne. 15 seconds to go. Hutchins dumps it in. Dolan comes over the boards. Good hit there. We haven't seen a lot of physicality. But it's certainly right there. McKenzie hard into the boards. Swindlehurst now. A little bit of aggression there. Big Paul Swindlehurst. Well, these situations at the end of the period. <laughs> well, we saw, one, we saw one last night, right? Yeah, they're always With a bit tricky. Gerald. And it's important for the linesman to get in quick, I find, in these situations. Because if you don't, then, you know, it kind of builds up to something else. And um, the credit there, the linesman, you know, they got in there quick and they didn't let anything happen. And then that's why both go up. Well, we still got a little bit of action here. But the linesman is there, you know, moving. Um, I can't see who that is from here, but... Uh, well, Lausanne is really having words with Swindlehurst. Yeah, well, you know, a few of the, a few of the guys are, are, you know, not too happy. They took a few shots that, that last shift, and, uh, well, it's a big game for both teams, and sometimes, you know, when you're a goal scorer, you know sometimes you're going to have to take a little bit uh, in, a, in a game. Uh, teams are always going to try to throw you off your game. I mean, that's some guys are out there, that's what their job is, you know, especially some of these, uh, like you said, gritty defensemen who, who like to get involved in the game. You just have to sometimes take a shot or two for your team and maybe maybe catch one of those guys uh, a little bit later with their head down and uh, throw a good check and not take a penalty. But Shots on goal after 20 minutes. Hull 11, Dundee 9. So pretty even there as we get underway in second period action. Galbraith dumps it in. Quick will come back. And quick in behind Chevry. A big happy birthday to Valerie Guilford from Scott Kennedy. Valerie's a big Stars fan. She'll be happy with that 1-1 score. So happy birthday, Valerie Guilford, from all of us here at Premier Sports. It's I mean, he's a quality goalie, no question about it. And, and you know the story he told me about so many goalies ahead of him being hurt, and then he got his, his opportunity. Mirror! We'll come back to your point, because that was absolutely fantastic! Well, that's the speed of Hull. You know, you, know, you come through the neutral zone full speed, and you put the defense under pressure, and, and just a fantastic goal, a great move to finish. Also going to your back end and getting it up over the goalie. Caught Dundee napping a little bit on that one. I mean, uh, just a fantastic goal. And, uh, you know, Mayer's got the confidence. He scored He scored in the first period on the power play, and, and he's feeling good about himself, and he's just got a second one, and a quick start here from Hull. That Hervato line on the power play here looked really impressive. Big Will Frederick as well. Another one, like Mitchell, looks pretty quick for a big guy on Dundee. That big Frederick also able to dance with the puck. Here's Mir. 19 seconds to go in the fourth power play opportunity for the Stingrays, Lazan. Lazan to Mir, looking for the hat trick. Good save, situational save from Chevery. Yeah, Chevery in great position there, not giving up any any holes in the net. And uh, Mayer again, you know, he's he's, play, he's on his game tonight, obviously. And a good return pass from Lozon coming off the wall. Sometimes a simple play like that creates a good scoring opportunity. And, uh, you know, just a quick, good quick shot there. But the goalie was uh, better on, on that occasion. And Pirouettes away from Pasha. Nice play in for Lust. Big Shane Lust, six foot two. He got motor in there, but it was an excellent play by Pasha. Tip in front by Blight, and the puck is deking and diving in there, and Brown makes good. Yeah, he did a good job. There's a lot of traffic in front. Uh, credit to Dundee on that shift. A lot of movement in the offensive zone, the deactivating, and uh, making it tough on the, on Hull to pick up their coverage. Yeah, I thought that rebound Brown. was going to land behind him for a second, and they just had to would just have to knock the puck in the net. But he, he seemed to hang on to it and uh, not give them that uh, second opportunity. To Quick, Quick, a former Tampa Bay Lightning draft pick, shows you his pedigree there. Single now, in there battling hard. Mitchell, Mitchell grabs his mouth there. He said he took a bit of a, a clip or a high stick from Davies. They play on. Frederick, tired legs now from this Frederick line. Mitchell, back to the point. Grimshaw, and there it is, Gungolski, two all. 
Oh, a great shift from Dundee. Uh, lots of movement also from the defenseman, pinching down the boards, cycling down the boards. And eventually, you know, the shot comes in the middle of the ice, a shot, slot area. Goalie makes the first save, but the puck just squeaks out. Right out there for the rebound and a, a nice goal uh, for Dundee. And Jameson to Frederick. And Galbraith. As Isaacs tries to race back into the plate, he's back out there now for the Dundee Stars, and he's got the puck racing away. He's got fresh legs after his exile in the sin bin. Dumps it in on Brown. Brown shows it to Jameson, says take it. And with 7.39 to go, the puck is out to the Stingrays blue line. Here's Hervato. Gains the star zone, goes outside on Blight. Penalty coming up, but it doesn't matter because Goldring buries the biscuit in the basket. 3-2 home. Yeah, a nice, uh, a nice finish there. Goalie had no chance. Once that puck came out in front, uh, just... You know, shot, get the puck on the net. You know, you see that a lot in the NHL where the guys wide just shoot the puck on the goalie's pads and guys drive to the net for a rebound. And, and you know, here's an example in the Elite League. Get the shot on the net, and like you were saying before, good things will happen. Well, we won't say that again. I think we've used that enough tonight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, drive to the net also. Go for those rebounds, and uh, a, a great finish there. But a good reaction from Hull. You know, they went, you know, Dundee scored, tied the game up, and, and Hull seemed to have taken it to Dundee since then, and now they've, they've gone up... Uh, 3-2. Well, Galbraith dances away from Osman. Mitchell. Mitchell out front. He had some room there. Quick jumped in and activated off the point. Quick. Down low for Mitchell. Being watched by the much smaller Davies. Gungalski runs a pick there. Mitchell out front on the backhand. It's 3 all. Oh! Well, again, if you look at, like you just said, Quick activating on the point. He does it again, this shift. And he creates another goal. I mean, he... He's very good on, on, when he activates, and uh, he makes it tough on, uh, on the opposition, but a great play from Mitchell there. You know, he held onto the puck behind the net, comes out in front, gets a shot away, and then drives and drives for the puck again, here, and the rebound comes out to... Uh, Gungalski again? Yeah, again, he, but, you know, he's around the net, and he, and he knows he knows he's got a big man, uh, Mitchell, who can go to the net and make things happen, and he just kind of sits around waiting for those uh, rebounds. And, uh, but again, a good reaction from Dundee this time. Coming back, putting Hall under pressure. Here's Grimshaw. Good block there. Wow. Davies, the captain, leading by example, takes that slap shot from Grimshaw. And Hervato with a laser beam just wide. Pressure and advantage back Hull's way now. Here's Davies. Wrap around out front to Chevery down on his belly. He'll hold it down and calm things for Dundee. Well, a great shift from Davies. You know, a couple of great plays that pass in front. A bit unlucky that it doesn't come through here, but he's using the net to his advantage. Tried to slide it across. Goalie gets his, the butt end of his stick down just to block that. Otherwise, it would have been in the back of the net. But also, Davies blocking that shot. He blocks the shot, creates some offense, three on two. They get a really good shot in the slot from all of that. But the guy misses the net. Otherwise, it could be 4-3 for Hull, but a, a great shift from Davies there. I mean, that one was so far offside. I mean, the linesman was never going to miss that. But, you know, sometimes that guy driving through the middle either make the pass or chip it off the boards ahead of him so he can drive down into the corner and pick that up. Um, looks like a guy's gone down here. I didn't see if it was a puck or if he just fell funny there. Galbraith, let's have a look. Galbraith, I think, took a little bit of a spear down below. Um, no, there's cool. a lot of blood on the ice. It looked like the stick came up into maybe his... Uh, private regions but it went a little bit further if we have another look at that it came all the way up into the uh the nose of well, galbraith i think the, the referees are having a little chat here to see what might have happened it looks like his uh stick oh, say, the puck. you know what it wasn't the stick it was the puck right off the draw yeah and that's just unlucky well it's just yeah it's uh it happens you know puck comes up quick you don't see it and you know that's a good thing about the visor you know it uh, does give your eyes some protection there so but it, it, it snuck underneath a little bit of the visor and uh, caught him right in the nose. It looks like he's going to go for stitches there. He's, he's bleeding a little bit. He's going to go for repairs, it looks like. He's right in front of him. He doesn't want to leave the bench. Let's, let's see if he gets stitched up right there on the bench. Good hard-nosed hockey player, the Mount yeah. Royal U alumni. He played wow. with uh, Zach Cravato at, uh, in university, I believe. And Galbraith will go for repairs. Yeah, hopefully he didn't break his nose there because... Uh, 
A lot, a lot of blood there, so he's got to go for some stitches. But sometimes when <laughs> the puck catches you in the nose, it can break your nose. And um, he's obviously feeling it right now. No doubt. And look, quick back cycle there. Find space. Mitchell again. Little sift pass. Ryan lets it go. Good shot there. That's going to get waved off. The whistle had gone. Lust will argue. As will Blight, who took the initial shot. You can see the referees, the Zebras, will have a discussion. But well, the whistle had definitely gone, Paul. I think the problem is, uh, you know, Lust is in, is in the crease, maybe. Well, he's okay there. And he gets pushed in there. Well, I don't know what the issue is there, but it, it seems unless Pasha was pushed into the goalie from behind, maybe that's why he called it back. But there didn't seem a lot in it there. Maybe a quick, quick whistle, but it's still 3-3. And it's Lausanne in the box watching on the hooking call. Here's McCluskey. Pressure there from Hendrick. And that'll do it. Well, Dundee really tried to set up Blight there on that power plane. He had some good shots, uh, but the goalie Brown was solid, and he, he made some big saves there to keep it at 3-3. Well, 20 Dundee. minutes to go, Paul. Yeah, Dundee have uh, 10 seconds here in the power play. Maybe they'll try a, a quick play off the faceoff. And Mitchell has two assists in this game on the Gungalski markers in that second period. He has been excellent for Dundee. And Lazan returns after his hooking call. And it's five on five hockey. Mayer leaves for Lazan out front there. Tanaka. McCluskey rubs Tanaka out there. McCluskey with a good job. Wins the puck ahead to Gungalski. Gungalski lays it in there for single. Single with a good hit on Turcotte. Tanaka took a hit from Grimshaw. Grimshaw also has an assist in this game, known for his defensive prowess but has contributed on the offense. Here's Tanaka. He's going to slow it down for Hull. It's, it's a good start to the period here. A bit of action to start, lots of movement, and uh, both teams obviously, uh, you know, they, they know the importance of this third period. And there's a look at that cage that Galbraith is sporting after that uh, puck to the face he took. Hockey players are made of tough stuff. That wasn't going to keep him out of this all-important third period. And uh, you know that you've been around some pretty tough players in your time, but Galbraith out here with a possible broken nose. The referee, Hervato, the aforementioned Hervato, gains the zone, plays catch with Galbraith. Hervato back to Osman. Hervato scores! <laughs> Well, he deserves that because he's had a great game tonight and a great shot and a, a good play from up top. Also, you know, the puck comes across and the defenseman makes the, 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 uh, the pass back to the wall there. But also a great screen in front. If you if you look at that again, I mean, uh, the goalie, uh, it's tough on the goalie because there's a big man standing in front. Uh, not quite sure which who it was, but uh, and a great shot. I mean, the goalie did get a piece of it, I think, just a little bit, but not enough to stop it. It was a great wrist shot there from Hervato. As the Davies line will go for a change, and it's important now to keep fresh legs on with that one goal lead. Here's Lazan off the crossbar. What a rocket off the bar. Here's Blight. He'll want to atone. He was in the box for that power play goal for Hervato. Goalie knocked into the back of the cage there, Paul. You don't like to see that, but that was some shot there off the bar. I mean, Lozon is such a talented player. You watch him out here and skates really well with the puck. He's got explosive speed, a great shot. He's not the biggest guy, but he plays hard. He, I mean, he, he works hard. And I mean, here's just a guy, just uh, the goalie gets knocked over here by his own uh, defenseman, it looks like. So the referee blows it down. But uh, Pasha doing a good job taking his man right to the net. He's got to do that. You don't want to give a guy a, an easy pass across the crease there. Well, and lost to off the half wall there. Good hit by Grimshaw again. Excellent defensive work by number five of the Stars, Grimshaw. Chilcott in on Hutchins. That was a dangerous play. And right now, Hutchins takes a little bit of a stinky palm there. Well, Got a glove to the face yeah, was after Turcott fell in awkwardly. Yeah, I mean, he was he was forechecking hard, and I think, you know, they just got tangled up a little bit. I don't think there was much in that. 
Uh, but, you know, Dundee are coming hard right now. That was, uh, looks like, uh, I don't know if that's a six or eight, uh, an eight on the clock, but there's not a lot of time left in this game. And if they're, if Hull are going to stand up on their blue line, you got to get pucks deep and four check hard. And uh, I don't, I don't really think uh, Hutchins was trying to uh, make a dirty hit there, but uh, obviously uh, Turcotte's not happy about it, so. Um. Gungolski sticks with it. Single with a quick shot. And Osmond and Gungolski, here comes Turcotte. And Gungolski, who has been physical, played with some sandpaper throughout. Turcotte, you knew he'd probably have more to say after that incident with Hutchins. Yeah, he's not very happy about that last incident incident and he's uh, jumped right in there straight away to calm things down. Gungolski thrown out. Ryan will come in. He'll face Davies now. And very important draw for both teams to say the least and it is the Stars through the veteran Ryan. Excellent play by Galbraith. Galbraith the pick. It's an empty net for Lazar. Lights out. <laughs> Well, you saw it after the goal, Mitchell came over and gave Lozano a slash there. That was a bit unnecessary after the puck's in the net. I mean, he's going to get a penalty now for that. Obviously frustrated that, the, you know, if you, if you look at, I mean, Dundee won the faceoff, but, I, you know, you win the faceoff. If you don't have the original play on the faceoff, shoot the puck at the net. Don't don't force the play if it's not there. And Lozano with his eighth. Puts a dagger in, 5-3, and now Gungolski. Well, the Turcotte there, he just seemed after that slash, he wasn't happy that, um, and before, you remember before, they almost had a fight before, so. Gungolski has been involved. Turcotte trying to get the helmet off there. Gungolski presses him against the wall, tries to get it right in. Turcotte, he said off the top, 133 penalty minutes, not afraid to get involved, and now he wants to make Gungolski pay. Wrestling, they're still trying to get the bucket off so he doesn't break his hand on a haymaker. And right there, Beersford and Young will get in to break it up. Turcotte and Gungolski with a spirited scrap here with just a few ticks to go on the clock. He kind of knew it was going to happen after that slash by Mitchell, didn't you? Yeah, I think Turcotte said, listen, if you're going to go after uh, our guys and, uh, you know, take a whack at one of our our goal scores, well, we're going to go and, uh, you know, even it up. And that was it. Been a tough game on both sides of the puck. And you have to say right now, probably uh, the, the right outcome. I mean, Maris has come out here hard to play. Brown has been good in net. And Pasha, you can see, leading from the back end. And Lazan putting the dagger in the, the assistant player coach. It's been a complete team game. Uh, full credit, though, to Dundee. It was a good road period. That second period was an excellent period from them. But as the clock ticks down, it will indeed be a 5-3 victory for the Rapid Solicitor's host, Ingrid. Well, the difference in the third was Brown. And he made some critical saves. You know, they're, they're up a goal and he, a couple of clear chances in, in the slot. Quick, quick reaction saves from him. And that was the difference in the third period because overall the game was, was fairly even. It was a tight one. Hervato on the power play. His eighth will stand as the winner, and Lausanne with the empty net goal makes it a 5-3 final. What a game. As you see, the handshake line up. Let's hope cooler heads prevail. Sometimes when you have a late fight like that, you can but you know what, uh, most of the guys around this Rapid Solicitors Elite Ice Hockey League know that once the game is done, it's done very rare. And you see, it was uh, it was a hard fought battle, right till the bitter end. Yeah, it was a good hockey game tonight, lots of action, and uh, both teams, you know, probably you can say Dundee might even deserve a point tonight. They, they didn't play a bad game. I thought that overall they played a good, had a good performance. And um, Hull just, uh, you know, just a little bit more clinical, I think, overall. You get the victory tonight and you get the result this season. You break the spell Dundee have had over you here this season. How do you feel? I feel great. Uh, to be honest, I thought we were a little bit sloppy. I don't think we played our best game, but uh, it's good as a young team to find a way to win like this at home. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big positive. Uh, great goaltending from Brownie. thought our power play was uh, a bit better than the few games. And uh, you know what? Uh, we, 
we had a few breakdowns, but in the third we didn't quit and we found a way to win. So really pleased. You said you'd wanted strong starts and you got them in two of the three periods, but then Dundee pegged you back each time. You must have been concerned. Yeah, I think the guys, to be honest, they were they know what Dundee has done to us the last two games, and sometimes it's behind, it's in your back, of the, in your head. And uh, I thought we uh, we still showed up, we still battled through it, and uh, we found a way to win. And I'm really pleased. I think when you're a smaller team, finding that way to win is often the key, isn't it? How do you now build on this going into your next few games? Well, you know what? We got to build on the positives. Right now, I think our power play was a bit better. I thought our PK did a good job, and I thought we were still creating chances. But there's also, you know, a few uh, areas we have to improve. But you know what? To get a win like this, it's uh, it's important. We knew it was probably one of our most important games of the year. Guys had a few butterflies to be on TV for the first time too. So, I mean, uh, he got it out of the way, and uh, it's a, it's a big two points. We move up the standings, and we uh, we look forward to the next game. Well, it's been a fantastic game to watch this evening. Lots of happy faces around Hull tonight. Omar, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. Rapid Solicitors, sponsors of the Elite Ice Hockey League on Premier Sports. Accident compensation and medical negligence claims.